right guys guess what it is the bridal banner honestly i thought it was the spring banner from the like twitter review but it's bridal so let's see who made the bridal banner this year because there's so many possibilities you guys know like everyone's a waifu so let's see who it is right dun 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 oh my god okay so this is kind of like an easy one because she already has so many alts, but it is Lelina. And Lelina's kind of cool because she shares the voice actress with Sharina. But other than that, um, she already has kind of a legendary version with the cavalry here. And she's getting a blue version with the blue tone. Um, yeah, just the, the, the bridal banner here. Bouquet, I guess, and the, the shining light from the sky. Pretty basic. Um, next one, Prescient, Sophia. So, Sophia, I thought she had a resplendent, but this one, uh, the dragon bouquet looks nice. Um, flying red though, flying red tone, kind of okay. Um, but not very strong. I guess the, for the bridal banner, they're not really emphasizing strength a lot. But you know, the last one's always the strongest. So if you like mature ladies, let me tell you all about Cecilia. <laughs> so she doesn't have a unique one, which means this one's inheritable. It's nice. I do like the new kind of background stage that we're gonna get here. It's probably gonna be a paralogue. Okay, here we go. Ellie Wood and Roy, and Roy's like a little boy. Father, right here. <laughs> That's really it's funny. Time to shine. Would you like dress up your dad for your wedding? That's that's funny. Oh, faith in humanity after their weapon does so much damage to beasts and dragons, right? Plus six to defense and resist and treachery. Treachery equals additional damage? I'll have to go back and read Let's that. This. I'm with you. But I do like that the highlight of the banner is not like a duel. Uh, female unit, it's actually a dual boy unit, which um, besides this. Krom and Robin, who comes to mind recently, we have the two we'll red hair, uh, dad and son, Blazing Blade and Binding Blade. Do we get anyone for free? I think that's the question, right? Because usually they should give someone for free, and it looks like they are. And you know, it's the crunch, scrunchy hair girl with the bun buns. Um, but let's go over the banner stars here. Yeah, yeah, after the fourth is one you get free if you do Fae Pass. And that's... Hmm. It's kind of messed up. I, I wish they did that with all banners, even if you're free to play. But I get why they don't, because you got to save something special, right? But let's see. Lelina is the highlight. She does get the cavalry unit here. True Love Roses Accelerate Special Trigger at the start of turn. Um, grants another acceleration of special trigger if unit initiates combat or within two spaces of an ally. Grant plus six to attack and resist and deals 10% of units resist. So you expect her to have a lot of resist. So you can actually see there. <coughs> Steel water and everything else reinforces her resist. Um, AR four trace. I think that's the inheritable skill everyone wants. All right. So... Moving on, we have Dragon Bouquet here for Sophia, and Dragon Bouquet grants 3-2 attack at the start of combat if her HP is greater than 25%, plus 5 to all stats. Um, besides HP, grant Weapon Triangle advantage against Colorless Foes and inflicts Weapon Triangle disadvantage on Colorless Foe during combat, and unit makes a guaranteed follow-up attack. I am so upset. This is not like uh, Leon's or Lion's weapon refine because he's been shafted. Yes, I understand he has two additional alts now, kind of like a kid version and an evil version, but his original version, uh, so he can compete with the, any of the F-ROMs, it needs to be buff. So I do wish that this was inheritable for him, but you know, it's a new banner. They're trying to get you to pull red. Maybe red means he he might get it later, you know? And then for Cecilia here, she is also red. Um, and, and this time, if 
you know, our HP is about 25%, plus five to attack and resist, and um, bonus to attack resist equals any current bonuses. So you definitely want to uh, increase her attack and resist before attacking, especially if you move her and use a Kanto skill. I think that would be the best way here. Um, but I want to talk about this because Roy and Ellie Wood, great combo. They look, honestly, guys, they look like they're drawn by two different artists. And I don't know if that's ever been done or like the artist purposely used different color palettes with Ellie Wood being kind of more faded and then Roy being, um, you know, just uh, brighter colors because he's a young foal, he's useful, but you can even tell, um, it does say it's one person, Wada Sachko, Sachko Wada, but it looks like these were like drawn separately and then posted together. Um, right what I really want to see is kind of their attack animation again, but let's look at the skills. Blazing pole arm. Um, it is an axe, but it does damage against dragon and beast. It's very uh, famous for, you know, brave Ellie Wood as well as Roy. All versions of Roy having strong against dragon, but now also beast. If unit initiates combat and it's within two spaces of ally grant plus five to all stats and inflicts penalty on flows equals 50 percent of that bonus so the more bonuses you get um the worse it is for the enemy up to six up to negative six now two new skills two new uh unique skills i should say i don't know oh, well one unique skill and i think flow force eventually you'll be able to inherit this if not immediately if unit initiates combat, neutralize events, effects that prevent follow-up attacks, and neutralizes unit penalty to attack speed. So you're always going to have your attack speed um, buff there. And then fate in humanity at the start of turn if units in three spaces of an ally. Um, that is <clears throat> that is other than dragon or beast. Grant plus six to attack and speed. And those allies for one turn. Two unit in those allies for one turn. A little confusing there. If two or more allies on your current team, other than beast or dragon allies, have bonuses greater than 10, neutralize effects that grant special charge plus 10 or inflict special charge minus 10. So you're gonna attack hard and fast, and you're gonna try to prevent other people from using special at the same time. Their unit's gonna be uh, proccing special a lot, and you can't really hurt them in attack or speed um, via Flow Force 3 there. Now, what I was saying is... Proceed. So, look, when they attack... You can do this. Let me do the special version. We'll protect yeah, even in their attacking animation here, it looks like a merge, like a brush tool was used to uh, really kind of combine these two images. But it looks like they were drawn differently. Perhaps we were going to get other um, kind of bridal slash groomy units, but we're getting a dual unit this time, and they combined the art. So pretty cool. Let me know your thoughts. I'll catch you on the next one. Night-night, guys. Take care.